defines M such that equations 2x squared minus 3m plus 2 times x plus 12 equals 0 and 4x squared minus 9m minus 2 times x plus 36 equals 0 have the same root. This video contains the following sections. Reading the problem carefully and understanding it. Developing a plan to solve it. Solving the problem. Thinking about it further and try to apply the approach to other problems. Near the end of the video, there's an additional question which can be solved using a similar approach to that used for solving a specific problem. If you find these helpful, please subscribe to the channel for notification of new videos by pressing the video watermark in the right hand corner of the video player. There are two quadratic equations. Both have m as a part of the coefficient of x. Find m such that the two equations have the same root. An intuitive way is to find the solutions of each quadratic equation, then work out m by letting the solution of one equation equal the solution of the other equation. Working out m by this way is not easy, as each equation has two roots, which are expressed in complicated forms involving radicals. So, how to address this problem? As the two equations have the same root, so when taken as simultaneous equations, they must have a solution. Find the solution in terms of m. Substitute the solution in either equation and work out m. Because 2x squared minus 3m plus 2 times x plus 12 equals 0 and 4x squared minus 9m minus 2 times x plus 36 equals 0 have the same root. So the simultaneous equations 2x squared minus 3m plus 2 times x plus 12 equals 0 and 4x squared minus 9m minus 2 times x plus 36 equals 0 must have a solution. Equation 1 times 2 minus equation 2. We have 
um, minus two times x equals four. Assume m equals two. The simultaneous equations become two x squared minus eight x plus twelve equals zero four x squared minus sixteen x plus thirty six equals zero. Equation four times two minus equation five. We have twenty four minus thirty six equals zero, which is clearly false. So they have no solutions. This contradicts with that the simultaneous equations must have a solution. So m doesn't equal two because m doesn't equal two. So from equation three, we have x equals four over m minus two. Now we can substitute equation six in any one of the simultaneous equations. Now we substitute equation six in equation one. We have two times 16 over m minus two all squared minus three m plus two times four over m minus two plus 12 equals zero. By multiplying both sides of the equation by m minus two all squared, we have 32 minus four times three m plus two times m minus two plus 12 times m minus two all squared equals zero. By simplifying this equation, we have 32m equals 96. So m equals three. Verify m equals three. The equations become 2x squared minus 11x plus 12 equals 0 and 4x squared minus 25x plus 36 equals 0. They have the same root. x equals 4. Think about the thought process for the previous question further and try to apply the approach to other problems. Such as this one, find k such that the equations 2x squared plus 4k plus 5 times x plus 20 equals zero and 6x squared plus 16k minus five times x plus 
30 equals 0. If I say root, you can write your answers in the comments section if you like. If you have any mathematics questions of interest, you can write these in the comments section if you like. Thank you for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. See you next time.